and uh, i think uh, mayur i am uh, already know you right sorry not you tushar uh, mayur mayur i think i already know mayur i think yes 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 so fine man uh, so today i want to uh, my name is sampath ne i am and my pharmacy graduate i'm working as a assistant manager in some cro i have 10 years of experience in medical writing so, so today i'll give you a demo class about what is medical writing and how medical writing is related to certain fields of uh, pharmaceutical industry like pv clinical trials vab studies uh, post marketing surveillance everything <coughs> uh like uh, many pharmacy graduates they don't know what is medical writing actually because uh, uh, the medical writing team will be very less but the work what the medical writers are doing is very huge and the the work which is uh, done by medical writing is related to each and every regulatory marketing approval uh, safety point of view pv so uh, before that i'll uh, just share my screen just a minute Can you see the screen, everyone? Yes. Yes. So, uh, yeah. So, if you talk about medical writing, like uh, you start from the beginning of your drug. So, how the drug will come into the world? So, uh, first of all, the scientists or the researchers, they will invent. They will do some in vitro studies. They will do some studies on animals. They do some. investigations and later on they will found that this yes uh, this drug will be working on so and so indication so they they cannot market the drug directly into the market for so and so indication for that before marketing a drug for certain indication or for certain disease or for certain condition they have to do some uh, activities or they, they they have to do some uh, researches studies there are some activities which are which are inlined which are like uh in line with the guideline of each and every country guideline a country regulatory for if you say india there is cdso it is a indian regulatory body which is handling all the responsibilities of marketing drugs in india and which are uh, all the pharmaceutical companies which are manufacturing the drugs if you say for us us fda united states food drug administration so us fda handles each and everything of the drugs look like marketing manufacturing r and d formulation everything pv everything if you say it is if you talk about europe region europe is ema european medicines agency like health for canada it is health canada for brazil it is anvisa for malaysia it is nmta so every country have their own regulatory body which have their own guidelines for marketing of any drug any new drug any generic drug Are generic drug in the sense the drug is which is already in the market uh, market for that you will mark you will design same uh, replica of the drug but the brand name will be changed so for each and every country if you want to market any drug there are some certain guidelines so what is the role of medical writer in this uh, marketing or pharmaco business or clinical research everything so like what I said initially. when a scientist or researcher they found yes this so and so chemical or so and so molecule work on certain condition they will they will first think in which place they have to market like if you say covid 19 recently pandemic so uh, pfizer uh, pfizer came in, into the front when uh, pfizer got approval in, in us united states of america they did not market the drug in india or some other countries so they got the approval only to be marketed in, in us later on uh, they have taken government approval in india from cdso so they have uh, shown some studies some literature what they have done in previous uh, their research and then india gave the approval same like when a new drug is invented or uh, discovered there are certain rules so if the drug is nowhere in the world first they have to do the research of the drug in human 
after doing the studies in in vitro or clean uh, in animals in vitro tests lab tests after all these that the indian regulatory or any country regulatory they will not give the approval for marketing the drug in their country so first of all they have to prove that that invented drug is safe in human and it is working on so and so indication so all this data how they can submit so if i am a client like i am i have invested some crores on one molecule and i want to show that that molecule is working on covid 19 it can cure covid 19 in 14 days so this money i have invested on my research and the scientists gave me enough data like they have tested on animals uh, or they have tested on some animal some dog or some rabbit which having similar circulatory system or similar uh, organs of human and they have proved like yes this drug is working on covid 19 and it can be cured so now i want to market this drug so now i will approach a medical writer so we cannot approach medical writer directly because medical writer will be is a, it is a professional job so it is a professional uh, what is a domain so medical writer will be working in some clinical research organization some clinical research uh, contact research organization clinical research organization so i am as a client i will approach some cro like this is the drug and this drug i want to market in the drug we market in the market so medical writer from that uh, from the client to cro it will go through bd business development and from that point to it will directly go to a medical writer where the medical writer has to research on the drug and he has to uh, review literatures publications whatever uh, available on that molecule and he the medical has, writer has to conclude whether the drug is safe to use in the human or not <clears throat> so if we get enough literature medical writer will start if the drug is nowhere in the world we have to start phase 1 trial so it is a phase 1 trial phase 1 trials will be done for a molecule or for a medicine or for a drug which is nowhere available in the world so medical writers work starts here so the birth of a drug will be given by <coughs> a medical writer from the phase 1 trial actually we have four phases of trials phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 phase 4 so phase 4 will be post marketing surveillance which we will be calling as pv and phase 1 2 3 uh, i will explain you in later uh, slides so what the medical writer will do in phase 1 so there are some regulatory guidelines when we are to when you you want to test or the client want to test some drug on any humans he has to conduct one study he has to dose his drug to the humans so how this all things will happen like uh, one a medical writer will prepare a protocol so based on the drug he, he will evaluate the pk data pharmacodynamic data is what are the side effects by using that molecule and what are the chemical structure of the molecule and what are the side effects and what are the precautions the risk evaluation if if the drug is dosed to certain few months what will be the risk and how it will be mitigated so it is like risk mitigation strategy so all these things will be written by a medical writer and he will prepare one protocol protocol means it is a guide like how to conduct research on humans so whatever the medical writer writes in the uh, protocol those things will be conducted in the clinical research like when to dose what to dose how many humans to be dosed in phase 1 and what are the safety precautions so when to collect blood and what, <clears throat> when to collect ecg is a safety point of view when to collect laboratory tests and when to end the study when to start the study what are the age criteria like if you are conducting phase 1 trial what is the age age group we have to consider in this trial 18 to 45 what is the weight and whether we have to consider males and females whether we have to consider consider diabetic patients or not uh, if you if your person is having any cardiac history so whether to consider those cardiac patients in the trial or not everything each and everything how to do the trial in the trial what we have to do in the trial to whom we have to A recruit enroll each and everything will be written in a protocol so that is the job of a medical writer so it is a phase one <clears throat> when the drug is already available in the market like uh, already 
uh, I have dollar six fifty in the market. We have dollar six fifty in the market. I want to uh, like market the same drug, but the brand name will be different. Like it is a competition drug. Then also it will be coming under phase three, which is called as BA B studies also, bioclocks and bioblitz study also. Some X company will prepare same replica of dollar six fifty, and they will approach some CRO and. CRO in from CRO medical writer will take that uh, uh, what is the contact and he will prepare on protocol based on the pharmacokinetic data of dollar six fifty. So here dollar six fifty is a brand name. So medical writer will take the pharmacokinetic data of paracetamol everything. So based upon that PK data available in the in the literature publishes in the in the label in the SMPC. So medical writer prepare one protocol based on the protocol. The study will be conducted, and the PK samples went to collect the blood sample. Everything will be done based on the protocol, and the study will be concluded based on the bioequivalence whether the test drug is same as the dollar six fifty or not. So, medical writer, overall medical writer, if you say in the drug invention, they have to write the protocols. After writing the protocols, the study will happen. Clinical research will happen, and later on, after con conduction of the uh, study. they have to prepare the report also what has been happened in the study and the report also will be written by medical writers only so those medical writers will call report writers first protocol writer will call first medical writer is called protocol writers all these are protocol writers medical writers only even the protocol writing is medical writing csr writing is protocol writing and from if you say phase 4 <coughs> phase 4 when they do a pv in pv also uh, they have to record a is they have to uh, like uh, what is it relate the drug reaction drug given drug adverse reactions adverse effects based on the smbc whether the drug a is related to drug or not each and everything will be done by <coughs> medical writers only this is up to clinical research like if you have one uh, you, you have invented one drug and what we have to do with the drug like how to market like how to do the study so medical writer will prepare one protocol and apart from that you have like from the beginning I'll again repeat when someone invented one drug and they want to do the study they have to, they have approach crmo and medical writer started preparing protocol but who will give approval to conduct the study see even though the medical writer prepares the protocol regulatory like indian regulatory or fda regulatory they, they don't give permission easily so there is, there is that is there is some other branch which is called regulatory writing which is a sub branch of medical writing there the medical writer they will compile protocol uh, some other documents and the, the literature the data available the, with the client in vitro data animal data toxicity studies they will compile on data and they will apply to certain suppose if you want to do the trial in india you have to apply to indian regulatory body for the conduct for the permission to conduct the trial so that is regulatory writing in regulatory writing medical writers they don't write the protocols they will compile the protocols which are already written by some other medical writer they will compile protocol uh, sponsor uh, data literature in vitro data animal data everything and they will apply for some certain regulatory for permission to conduct the trial that is regulatory writing okay so here we have got two branches one is medical writing in clinical research one is, other one is medical writing in regulatory apart from this after conduction of the study study got uh, well and good no no adverse events observed and some client want to publish the data so uh, i as a client i have conducted some trial in humans and i got uh, promising results like my drug is working on the human and there are no adverse events i want to publish this study in a manuscript like in a beautiful way in, not in uh, more over technical terminology but in a good language in a what is attractive language where can the readers can read more like attractive so he will give all the study data to some medical writer and you will ask medical writer to prepare manuscript writing then medical writer will have all the data protocols study results csr report everything and from the raw data medical writer will prepare some manuscript manuscript uh, so we have certain generals so 
uh, when the client uh, before submitting uh, the data to the medical letter client will say i want to publish this manuscript in certain journal so then medical letter will refer certain journals and for every journal there are some there are some uh, rules and regulations and guidelines so the format font size everything should be uh, as per their uh, rules only as per the rules of journal only so medical letter will prepare a, a, if the protocol is having uh, 60 to 70 pages he will write a summary of 6 to 7 pages in a beautiful way where the whole study can be understood with that 6 pages so this is manuscript writing we have three sub- just now we have covered three branches one is medical writing and clinical research regulatory writing and manuscript writing and other than manuscript writing we have scientific writing also where some thesis has been happened in some college or some pharmacy college or some medical college what are it really the thesis happened on the drug in medical college or in pharmacy college so the college can give the raw data to us and they can ask us to write a scientific writing so with the results and this is like scientific writing is something you are supporting their thesis so medical writer should write the scientific writing in such a way the uh, total article should be in supporting the thesis and it should be in a small data so while they are submitting the thesis they will be having 100 to 200 pages of uh, the thesis but while uh, writing an article for scientific writing so medical writer should write only 20 to uh, 10 to 20 pages of article which is very supporting to the thesis and only important factors will be highlighted in their thesis because the thesis is not a study it is a simple uh, academic uh, thesis so that's why only the medical letter's job is to hear they ha- he has to highlight such a, those points where their thesis can go for further process like if the thesis is good some clients will offer the academic uh, students or uh, academic uh, professionals uh, or professors so, so the client will offer them based on the scientific writing client will offer them like i will uh, what, what is uh, promote your thesis we can develop drug delivery we can develop the drug for the marketing like that so this is one of the branch of medical writing this is scientific writing so like this there are uh, these are for drugs but like this there are medical writers for medical devices also so medical devices is like they have certain guidelines because if you want to market some uh, like there is one hospital there is some ecg mission and for the same mission you want to develop some new ecg mission which can give accurate results so when you are using when you are using that ecg mission your pr interval range is very less so some client has developed some new L, a new ecg mission and their pr intervals can give deep impression and they can give better results on ecgs so medical devices is there uh, like it is comes under electro engineering like medical Do, will not have role in that uh, devices medical devices but in, in the medical devices also they have to see the safety parameters and uh, like if the infrared rays is very high uv, UV rays are very high so the range should be range like everything should, will be considered and in medical devices medical rates write a protocol so medical devices medical rate do not have much job because it is completely medical uh, medical engineering and electronic electronic engineering and uh, they have standard guidelines electronic testing will be there uh, mr for missionary so all these things all these like clinical research scientific writing regulatory writing drug discovery uh, manuscript writing scientific writing medical devices in if you see medical writer involved in all the all the activities all the domains of pharmaceutical industry from drug development to marketing from invention to uh, human use after human use also so the, what what is the pv after human use also there is signal detection and uh, all the signal detection will be coming to medical writers they will evaluate whether the ae is related to the drug or not based upon the literature based upon the smpc fd labels monographs all these things uh, public assessment reports so this is how medical writing is involved in complete from drug drug to human use invention of drug to human use 
medical device medical research <coughs> even in generic medicines if you want to market anything even in regulatory approvals like if you want to conduct a study you, only medical writer will apply the permissions and so if you see medical writer should have vast knowledge on us fda ema anvisa brazil each and every country regulatory medical writer should have the knowledge and even if you consider medical device also pv also clinical research also what are the guidelines is america is saying what are the guidelines europe is saying what are the guidelines in india we are following you know, what are the guidelines in malaysia singapore china japan brazil greece gulf countries gulf countries is also having some separate guidelines so overall i want to conclude like medical without medical writers you cannot so there is no drug will be there in the world this is what i want to say so even though scientists are there if the scientists invent they have found some discovery also if the discovery to be converted into a drug or into a fruitful successful uh, if, if the discovery should have successful discover successful results the, there is there is a lot of medical writers needed for this discovery to human use i have is you uh, like basic definitions in medical writer uh, medical writing so the first stage is medical writers are critical to communication of process of outlining goals strategies analysis and medical understanding of a clinical trial program to patients sites sponsors and regulatory agencies the scientific minded writing team should have significant experience in preparing clinical documents including protocols clinical study reports and investigative brochures yeah i want to mention uh, like i want to explain what are investigative brochures like uh, uh, like uh, i said no if any scientist has discovered some new thing so he will be having some uh, bulk data so that bulk data is given to some medical writer and they ask medical writer to prepare medical writer to prepare a investigative brochure so based upon the raw data he will prepare some uh, important points with the 30 to 50 pages of medical brochure investigator brochure and that brochure will be given to will be used as uh, in upcoming studies it will be used as smbc label monograph etc the medical writing team supports the development of the following types of documentation so in pv annual reports periodic safety update reports development safety update reports periodic benefit risk evaluation reports then regulatory submission clinical and non clinical summaries marketing applications in ectd format integrated summaries of fks and safety it is a module 5 like response to agency reviews like when you have submitted application for conduct the permission uh, for uh, permission to conduct the trial so regulatory may give some uh, what to say comments so based upon that comment the medical writer has to give the response as well so in which phase is medical writing services are like more used during discovery phase pre clinical study reports pre clinical sections of ind clinical sections of ind clinical development plans investigator brochures ctd modules exploratory protocols so this is during drug phase of the during discovery phase of the drug and after discovery phase you will go into clinical research phase there you will be pre- like preparing like medical writers will be preparing investigative brochure updates informed consent documents informed consent means like whenever you want to conduct some trial in human the the persons who are involving in the trial like you are dose you cannot dose simply your uh, new drug to a human the person who is participating in the trial he has to give his or her consent on their writing on their own writing like i am not forcefully involved in this trial so this is my voluntarily consent i want to participate in the trial and this decision is voluntary voluntarily mine so those uh, icf will be content the content of icf will be, will be having trial uh, information what is what is going to administer which drug is going to administer and how many days and what is the benefits to the patient what is the medical benefit everything will be information uh, will be given in the icfs so next clinical trial protocols clinical study reports annual safety reports 
clinical trial registry synopsis abstracts posters patient narratives manuscripts and after clinical research phase it will be post marketing so phase 4 study documents phase 4 study documents i think uh, somnya will be having some idea of it because he's having some previous knowledge so phase 4 is nothing but post marketing surveillance so there they will be prepare psurs slide decks abstracts posters manuscripts review literature product monographs so this is the like uh, i want to in this class i want to tell the basic medical writing what the medical writing is involved and where in which services we are using medical writing if you have any doubts you can uh, ask me now or somewhere if you didn't understand anything you can ask me so during the course will we be uh, like doing this all this things like what you have narrated all the duties of the medical writing like um, creating a brochure or like do we write all those like as a um, exercise or assignment uh, uh not at all but i will show every document like what i have uh, shown in the slides every document every sample document from any organization will be displayed in the classes and if you want you can practice uh, on your own but the preparation of the protocols or investigations will not be uh, there are no assignments uh, given in this class if you want like not all the uh, documents main documents like protocol, I can't hear you. Yes. Uh, what? Now can you hear me? Yes. 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 So during the class, every sample document will be displayed, and the uh, during while explaining and uh, while taking the class on particular uh, document like protocol or CSR, so that document will be displayed. Actual original document from any organization will be displayed, but if you want assignments on those documents, I can give it to you during the class. That's no issue. Okay. Okay. Yes. Any other questions from anyone? Like where you have got confused or you have any doubts? One thing I want to say, like medical writing, medical writing is a good profession because uh, I am in the industry for the last ten years, and uh, we have seen huge growth. and uh, if you see for one organization only two to three medical writers will work so we are having we are having lack of medical writers also in the present industry because day by day the pharmaceutical companies are growing so the inventions are growing the researches are growing so all these discourses are going very high and uh, medical field also going very like advanced new advanced way. so people are like covid in during covid uh, like within one year or within during second wave we got the vaccine so for that also there's many medical writers in from many cros they have prepared protocols they have done the studies so few got promising results and few did not did not got promising results but till the uh, human life is there definitely we have we need healthcare we need drugs to use we need some we will be facing some few uh, health conditions etc etc so till the human survives medical writing is needed so this is never ending profession if you if you are having good technical mind if you can uh, have vast knowledge uh, or if you if you don't have knowledge also you can develop if you have the contents that i can develop uh, pharmaceutical knowledge pk data pd data how the drug works inside the body and what are the side effects if you calculate all these things and it is very easy if you know the guidelines because before uh, performing any trial or any research all the researches uh, research and uh, studies are should be conducted based on the guideline only so if you know the guideline so definitely in every organization there are some peers there are some uh, uh, what is a doctor so they will definitely help you even though you are fresher or even though you are not from pharmaceutical background also if you know the guidelines how to submit a drug how to uh compile a uh, protocol how to write a csr for each and every document there is a template which is driven by guideline 
and for each and every clinical research protocol all the regulatory bodies have their own guidelines so the guideline will support you and the people who are in the industry will support you so this is never ending process medical writing is never ending process and many of the pharmacy graduates they don't know actually what is medical writing and that's why they are going to production side or pharmaceutical manufacturing side r and d formulations and but for medical without a medical letter all these things will not happen so for 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 birth of any drug a medical letter is needed and one thing a medical letter need a laptop and internet connection only other than this they do don't need anything because writing a protocol in ms word is completely system based and applying protocols for uh, permission to conduct the trial is all regulatory bodies have online websites only for csa preparation we have we need ectd software so that it will be provided by the certain organization so medical except one system or one desktop or one laptop and one internet connection medical writer don't require any other things and they don't need on site also this is a remote job so many companies are offering remote also and few are offering on site uh, so will like will i be able to work for an india company staying in united states is that possible yes it is possible like see uh, now uh, companies are getting so advanced if you see in tcs and accenture many people are working from some other countries also because if uh, the company uh, while taking the interview if if the company uh, like what you say selects the candidate based upon the knowledge of the candidate they will definitely offer you a good package and they don't bother about your location from now what is also many many uh, in, in now what is many people are working from us and they are working in india in, they are working for indian indian now what is but they are staying in us and few people from the indian company they are like if they want to go to us the company itself giving the offer to go go to us and there they are going and they are working from us for this indian company the only thing is you have to prove in the interview then they will definitely offer you. and uh, your company will help us getting the interviews after we finish this course in medical writing not my company and uh, as i am in industry for 10 years so definitely i will be helping you and i mean not, not like, your company in the sense like uh, the consultant whatever like we registered company consultant yeah that we can talk with uh, madhuri yeah so we will be taking placement uh, assistance uh, over here we'll be sharing the vacancies with you uh, wherever we are having referrals we'll be sharing your resume with them as well and based we'll on your out in the placement based on your experience if it is only medical writing how long it takes uh, to finish the course and land in a job like how long it takes overall because you might be seeing many candidates day in and day out yes see yeah. actually uh, see. yes yes go ahead yeah sampad go ahead yeah no. No, the course completion will be like within one month we can complete the course like what i said every country is having guideline so in the during the course i will be explaining the guideline of each and everything but it is up to the candidate to remember all the guidelines after the course also like a medical writer the, the guidelines will be continuously you have to apply till your career till your uh, last day of the career mm-hmm. so sorry yeah i got that point i said mm-hmm. yes yes so uh, as i said there are lack of medical writers in ct clinical writers and dab studies also so if you have uh, good knowledge on right like, guidelines and the safety point of view and the drugs so you'll get very easily medical writing only thing is like you ha- you should have the candidate should have because every company is looking for the candidate who is having good knowledge on the guidelines and now they apply the guidelines in the uh, professional protocols and clinical and reports and submitting the documents to regulatory okay and you will be taking the classes right uh, sampath yes yes yes, okay. yes and i just i want to know in detail like when if i need to take the decision as i'm asking all my questions sorry too many questions and no. uh, how uh, how often we'll have the classes in a week 
uh, weekly fridays you will be having classes from monday to friday and every day it's one hour right the class yes yes every day it's one hour okay and it's for a month mm, no uh, it can be extended also it can be reduced also but uh, for sure 20 to 25 classes will be there okay i mean i do have little bit of experience in writing uh, uh, research articles review articles Okay. Uh, which we published in the PubMed. I uh, just want to check like how long it might take this uh, procedure. Mm, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll get in touch base with Madhuri uh, to enroll for this class. Um, okay. And then go from there. Uh, thank you so much for answering all the questions patiently. No issues. During classes also, if you have any questions, we can. I will I will answer with my, with, with all the patients. Don't worry. <laughs> Thank you. Anybody have any other questions? I think uh, three people left. Tushar, uh, do you have question, any questions? And you are a QA again. Uh, actually, I am working with the formulation and uh, finished products. Na? So I am not in a CRO kind of organizations. So yes, yes, uh, yes. definitely this uh, uh, today's session is valuable and value added for my knowledge. But uh, I will uh, definitely uh, root out that how to take these uh, trainings. And if there is any implementation in my job work, uh, it is good for me. So definitely yes. it will be helpful for me. Okay, thank you, thank you. That's great. Thank you so much. And it was it is it was a nice session actually. Uh, during this session, a uh, lot of uh, different things uh, I'd learned uh, right now. And let's hope for the future. If I change my track in a CRO kind of uh, organizations or R and D type of, then I will definitely approach to you. No problem. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Also. Um, can we get the recording of today's class? Or no? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, sure, thank you. And one last thing, sorry, is it okay if I exit the class now? Yes, yes, the class is completed. Just we are waiting for uh, question sessions. Okay, sure. And thank you so much, uh, uh, sir, like Sampath Vinay, sir. Uh, it's really yeah. uh, like valuable, as Tushar said. I really look forward to uh, for more classes from you. Thank you. Thank you, okay. Madhuri, for uh, collaborating all of us. Thank you. See you all. Thank Bye. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. Fine. Uh, we can wrap up the class, uh, Madhuri. Tushar, good night. Yes, Madhuri. yes, sir. Bye. Thank you so much. Yeah, good night. Yeah. Thank you. Mayur, you have any questions?